Hey yo, Sagittarian, welcome to the channel. I have this lighthouse. My name is Kara, and today I'm going to be giving you the part two of your glimpse into the rest of the month of August. So, if at any point you decide you're digging what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You can always exercise your free will and donate at Cash Sign Glimpse Sun, or you can contact me at kara.daniel08 at gmail.com. Uh, so, Sage, this is like my 5th thousand thousand time trying to record you all's message. So, bear with me. Hopefully, we won't have too many interruptions and this thing will go out smoothly. Uh, I pre-pulled you guys' energies for the sake of saving time. But I will be using uh, the Shadowland deck to clarify and go a little bit deeper into the messages that I give you today. Uh, I was going to separate things out into a love or, you know, like a shadow aspect message. But I said, you know what, spirit will give us whatever messages we need to know uh, at this point in time, and they will come out as need be. So we just going to do it like that. So, Sage, for your energies that you pulled for this month, my booski, you pulled the King of Wands. This is you popping up in your own reading. How did I get it? Uh, then you have the Queen of Hearts. Now, when I pulled this Queen of Hearts, she pulled out like this. So... Either way, if you look at this Queen of Hearts, she look kind of busted up. She look kind of busted and disgusted. Uh, she like she done been through some things. This feels like a feminine energy who has allowed herself, his self, put it where it goes, you know, even though we male or female, whatever, whatever, we have both energies within, right, right. Okay, so with this feminine energy, I feel like they have allowed themselves to be battered by love in so many ways. So, your words you have for this month, Sagittarius, you have transcendence. Transcendence is the ability to overcome elements of society and human nature that is inconsistent with one's pursuits. Next, you have cruel wit. Cruel wit is a tendency to deal out clever criticism and hostile humor. Last, you have motivation. Motivation is the desire to do things. Okay, so I feel like here, I feel like if you are this are in this Queen of Hearts energy, or you are dealing with someone in this energy, they may have used it as a way, you know, victim mentality, you know, to play on yourself hard, to play on your feelings, rather, and you are beginning to overcome the elements of this situation you are beginning to transcend from this you're seeking a change and maybe the change that you have decided to implement in order to improve your situation has um caused some cruel wit to come out right uh people criticizing your way about going doing things whether this is openly or you know just to themselves or with others unbeknownst to you they have a right to feel the way that they want to feel about it Everyone has to reach their, reach their own level of elevation um, in their own special way. And I say that because each challenge challenge each one of, challenges each one of us differently, right? What may be easy for you to get over may not be uh, it's particularly easy for me, or we may not get over it in the same way. Either way, the point is we maybe took a different journey to get to the same destination and overcome something that could have kept us in a pretty challenging spot in our lives. Woo! <laughs> that went on for a minute. Anyway, y'all, so <laughs> the cards that you pull from out of my deck, you got to imagination. And you got ain't nothing wrong with being selfish sometimes. And it's really not. Um, I feel like you have given so much to others. You've put, maybe not even to others, you just put your attention in wrong areas of your life. Well, I won't even say wrong areas that wasn't necessarily going to serve you or, you know, elevate you, uh, to the status that you wanted to be in and to, um, gain what you, the experience that you wanted out of life. So now you're going within and you're using your imagination in ways to encourage yourself, to uplift yourself. This can just be things as self-care, sitting out in nature, spending time with music, doing things that you enjoy, painting, uh, drawing, uh, maybe you play an instrument. 
Maybe you like going for walks. Um, maybe you listen to techno music in the bathroom while you're singing, cleaning up. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is that feels good to you, that is uplifting you, these are the things that you're clinging on to right now at this point. So, we have Capricorn. Capricorn could be significant to your situation. You could be, uh, Capricorns to me, because it is the, um, the last sign in the zodiac it is the oldest of the zodiac it represents maturity uh i feel like you are maturing uh in some way and on top of that with you being a sagittarius you could be a sagittarius uh capricorn cusper so this could be um very significant to you or you could have capricorn weighing heavily within your birth chart uh and on the back of that we have higher and higher closer to my dreams that also speaks into that maturity thing i feel like you're elevating uh you're cutting out some things and you're adding things to yourself and your surroundings that are really making you feel solid once again um and i can't say a baby's name Gioble, Giopel, however you say it Giople, but i can't say it but higher and higher closer to my dreams even if this isn't you um just even if you are if, if you're ever elevating uh as far as your pinnacles uh as far as you know projects you might be working on or just as in within yourself i feel like this is what you're conveying out to the world also but i don't feel like it's from a, a egoic standpoint i feel like it's more from a self-improvement place yeah I feel like that's what you're doing. And your last uh, card you have is two weeks. Now, in order to implement this change, you want to separate from this situation. Um, I feel like, you know, this could have happened within the past two weeks. Or you've maybe come across, you've changed a lot. It's amazing how quickly you can come into realization of things. Some people think it takes a year, it takes months. Some people, it takes people longer than others. Some people, less. But in a short amount of time, how your mindset can change whenever you are seeking that knowledge and you really are after something that is going to be valuable to you. It's something that the universe is already trying to give you, right? Whenever you start seeking those things, those are going to be the things that you automatically attract and that come to you. So... Sagittarius, we have Harmonic Flights as one of your Oracle cards, card number 29. Uh, you have card number 16, Loving Compassion. And you have card number 19, Balanced Forces. So with this Balanced Forces and with this Harmonic Flight card, <coughs> can't hardly talk. With this Balanced Forces and this Harmonic Flight card, um, I feel like this is you, maybe in regards to love, right? You are in a love situation with someone. A uh, harmonic flight reads to seeing uh, the divine in the eyes of another. That is what the card harmonic flight represents. It represents um, seeing the God-like in someone else. Whether in their eyes, just in their being, whether they see it within themselves or not. And this tends to trigger things within us, a.k.a. their twin flame journey. If you don't know, now you know. Get in touch with it. Find out about it. Ten, twin flames uh, can oftentimes be misconstrued as karmic connections. Uh, whether you give validity to one or the other or not, that is up to your own personal beliefs. But either way, it is pers it is. Whether it's romantic or someone you just come encounter with on a daily basis, you may never see them again in your life. It is possible for you to see that divinity within another person. And this is you recognizing that if not within yourself. And once you really recognize that divinity within yourself, that is whenever you're going to start radiating that, radiating that same energy out into the world around you. And it's going to be inspiring and having those balanced being able to have that energy radiating from yourself often presents itself in balanced forces in your environment. Whenever you start putting more attention into yourself, it's balance your outer world. Um, if you ever been down, which we all have, um, if you ever done been through some shit, 
you know that how you are on the inside, it, it, it radiates on your outside. You don't dress the same. You don't act the same. You maybe don't put as much into your uh, your daily rituals as far as how you dress, putting on makeup. Uh, <laughs> it's me <laughs> putting on makeup. Uh, you know, things of that nature. Things that just make you feel good. Not necessarily for somebody else, but for you. You stop doing those things. And people start taking notice in whether you acknowledge it or not, right? So once we get in balanced forces and, you know, we start going for that job, we're going for that change, waking up every day, you know, uh, trying to put ourselves outside in nature just to feel better, it starts to balance out once you keep going about it. Uh, I think it was Sadhguru, no, Abraham Hicks. Once you direct your energy or your focus in a certain path or direction for a certain amount of time, that that is what you're going to manifest. That is what's going to come into your world, right? And I I have recently learned for my damn self, you feel me, that uh, once you start changing your mindset and being more positive, things really do start radiating out into your outer environment more positively. And you're able to... Um, migrate through this 3d experience just a little bit easier and with a little bit more grace uh than what you normally could without you know having that divine connection with the world around you or seeking a path that is going to be befitting in the eyes of god so your last one you got is loving compassion and again i feel like this speaks into that self-care thing this is you showing yourself loving compassion and as you show yourself more love and compassion you are able to radiate that same love and compassion out onto those in the world around you sagittarius my jaws is hurting but i like y'all's message this is what's up i am digging this so I pretty sure for these y'all, uh, and y'all probably can tell already, I ain't big good at shuffling. <laughs> As it is. <laughs> There's some of the reason why, i just be honest, <laughs> I ain't with shuffling on camera because I take up, I don't know how much time trying to do such a thing. But, Father God, let me get three cards in closing. Three cards in closing for my Sagittarius. I don't know why I call y'all Sagittarians. Like that's strange. Ooh, to get the flow. Let's see what that's on my job. You have the Hierophant and you have the Emperor. Okay. Let's see. Let me get one more. One more for the Sagittarian. One more. All right. We got. The Five of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Five of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Hierophant. I feel like with this card combination, this is you leaving behind what everyone else says that you need to conform to in order for you to have the life that you desire. What you eat don't make nobody else shit. Somebody else's level of happiness and what they need in order to feel secure and sleep at night is not what you need, Sag. Everybody has their unique, own unique level of happiness and what's required in order to meet that. Um, and because you're doing it and you're radiating this out to the world in such a way and it's comfortable for you, people may have an issue. Well, how you're doing your thing, what makes you happy, what's making your light shine brighter. They might even want in on that. They might even want in on it to try to see, you feel me, like what that life be like. But I feel like for some reason, they've separated themselves so much from you now. At this point, you know that it's toxic to you and you're no longer about inviting things in that are toxic to you. You are about inviting things in that are going to be of addition to you, Sagittarius. So, my baby booze, that's all I got for you right now. Hopefully, I'll be seeing y'all in a few days to deliver y'all another message. And again, if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit your girl up. Please comment below. I thank you. Thank you so much again for each and every one of you who has subscribed already. And if you haven't, this is your invitation to do so. Until I see you next time, Sage. Bye-bye. Check out my other messages, boo.